Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel, welcome back to those of you who are returning to my channel. So this is another pick a card and this one is a bit loose, uh, we're focusing on what are your blessings in the near future, I kind of want to look into what's to come before the end of 2024 in your life. Um, I am definitely intending to connect with your ancestors, so this will be an ancestral reading. We're focusing on your blessings, but of course, if anything else wants to come through, I will focus on that as well. I will dive into it. So this reading is for those of you who want a little psychic reading, a little psychic session, um, and to kind of receive some guidance. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what we're going to talk about today. Now you have three uh, decks to choose from. You have pile number one with the Tarot of Thought. <laughs> Wait a second, I literally forgot the deck in the pouch. The Tarot of Thought, and then the Cosmic Tarot, and then the Baroque Tarot for pile number three. So all the timestamps will be down in the description box. You can go check them out also in the comment section, in a pinned comment, and I will see you in your reading. Hello, Pile 1! For all of you who chose the Cosmic Consequence pouch, this is made by someone who creates amazing art. I will put her Instagram account in the description box below as well. Whenever I use this deck, I try to shout her out because she really creates beautiful hand-painted clothing, hand-painted boots, jackets. Um, I think she also has um, an oracle deck, so yeah, she's amazing. Anyways, let's see what messages your ancestors have for you. Usually I like to pull some oracle cards and I do have oracle decks around me. But I will begin with the tarot and then I'll see if I need oracle cards for this reading. So what blessings and just what is coming into your life before the end of 2024? What do the ancestors need you to know? What do they need you to know? I'm getting a lot of sun images um, and I'm literally seeing like a, a sun painted in gold and the gold is dripping from the from the sun itself. This can talk about a lot of things. Of course, in the first place, it can talk about abundance coming into your life. But the sun is very symbolic of life itself. And I was also seeing a lion's head. So there is a lot of um, rulership and... Rulership and ownership symbolism in that image. I feel like the ancestors are saying you're finally going to own something, you're finally going to pay off something and basically, you know, own it finally. Um, or you're finally opening your own business, you're finally um, maybe leaving a collaboration and you're doing something on your own. It's kind of like you're taking your crown you're finally stepping into independence, you're finally taking your crown, you're finally doing something by yourself, on your own, without much help, uh, and simply and solely with the help of spirit, with the help of your spirit team, with the help of your own spirit, with the help of your own soul. Um, I'm getting that there has been a lot of determination to, to do this, to um, have this um, independence reclaimed and regained.
there's been a lot of determination to build a new life for yourself. I'm hearing <laughs> blood is thicker than water so some of you will realize that your ancestors were right about something or family was right about something maybe you were warned maybe you were told something like hey don't go do this or don't go get with this person or you know don't merge your businesses don't sell this don't do that etc i'm getting that you will whether this was spiritual guidance that you received but you didn't listen to it um, and it could have been your ancestors got to you through a psychic, through a medium, they wanted to warn you about something but you were like, well, should I really believe that 100%? Maybe you questioned it for some reason, maybe you felt like it was too good of a deal not to take it but I'm getting you will realize that your ancestors were right about something and there is a strengthening of the family of some kind. Maybe you went against your family in order to stand up for someone else, believing that this someone else was right, believing that maybe your family was in the wrong, but there is a huge twist that I'm getting is coming to the light and you will realize, oh my god, my family was right all along. Um, I should have stand by them, I should have um, um, I should have stood by them, I should have um, trust them, like I'm getting a lot of um, returning to the ancestors realizing that yeah they were correct about something here What did you want to work on about? What blessings are coming through? What the ancestors want you to know? What do the ancestors want you to know? I just like no cards <laughs> are really speaking to me that want to come out. Okay. Ten of Cups, um, fulfillment, happiness, this talks about a happy home, I'm hearing a healed reproductive system for some of you, I'm hearing healed familial relationships, yeah, with the justice, it had to do with a contract, it had to do with, this was most likely a legal situation um, that created a lot of chaos in in the family uh even oh i'm getting um this is for some of you of course okay this is not for all of you but for some of you i'm seeing that someone here might have been involved in a magical practice that involves some sort of watery um, maybe potion maybe uh bathing maybe they're working with water spirits i don't know but i'm literally seeing like a chalice and a dagger and i'm getting something about someone was trying to separate you from your spiritual team like someone was trying to severe your connection specifically with your ancestors but also with your spiritual team um they might have used even like blood I'm getting, I'm just getting fluids, okay, and water, um, and how that was used for some sort of spell or magic that was supposed to separate you from your ancestors and from your psychic connection to them. Um, but it seems that this has been resolved. I'm also getting, for those of you who had to have like a surgery or something, I'm getting that you're healing, I'm getting that some of you uh, had to have like surgery with the 
uh, f for your reproductive systems but I'm getting that your reproductive system is healing again I'm getting that things are coming back uh, to normal things are coming into balance five of swords yeah someone definitely pretended to be your friend and the ancestors were like no <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't be with this individual and I think you're finally gaining your uh, gaining a clear mind around this. The ancestors are saying that do not worry if you've missed out on an opportunity because I'm getting that it's not going to be the only opportunity. It wasn't even the best opportunity. So... Some of you might be worried that, oh, if I make this big decision, maybe in the future I will lose this type of opportunity. The ancestors are saying, make the big decisions, don't be afraid, um, because you, you will most likely receive even bigger and better um, opportunities in the future. emperor yeah definitely you're as i said claiming your crown claiming your independence but here with the five of swords and the emperor a lot of you are still struggling to make up your mind about something you are still somehow in between two options in between two paths And it's funny because the justice card rules Libra or is ruled by Libra. The emperor is ruled by Aries. So there's an opposition here. So the conflict is should I choose what I want or what others want from me or expect from me? Should I choose my own legacy and my own path or should I choose building with someone else? As I told you, for a lot of you, you're deciding to build on your own. Um, but this might prove to be more of a difficult situation if you are in a happy relationship and you're deciding should I build with my partner or should I build alone? I'm getting that if you want to build with your partner, that would be great, but make sure you're building with someone who... They can do it on their own if they want to. It's just that they want to do it with you. Like, make sure you're not building someone up. You're building with them. And they're building with you as well. Um, but once again, I'm getting that if you have your own thing going on, don't abandon it. All right, don't abandon it. It's gonna be busy for you until the end of the year. It's gonna be a busy time because I see you're trying to spread yourself thin. You're trying to be in many places all at once. You're trying to build for yourself, then build with your family, and then maybe also build with a partner and maybe the family and the partner are like two separate situations because you're trying to help in your home with your parents or siblings, grandparents, someone that's family to you, but of course related to you by blood. And then you have your chosen family, your partner, maybe your children, um, and you're building for them as well. So I see you and Spirit is saying like, you will have to do both for a while. For those of you who are not the group that's walking away, you know, and becoming independent because you were never codependent to begin with. And hear me out, just because you're in a relationship and you have a support system doesn't make you codependent. So I'm talking to the people who felt like 
ideas were taken from them or ideas were sabotaged or someone was trying to stop them from pursuing their own dreams like this is the people that are gaining independence but for those of you who have like this ten of cups a strong beautiful family and a home and both partners are building together or separately yet they come together as separate strong units um then i see that you have to be the emperor at home and then be the emperor with with your uh family so so yeah you have to do both and you will be quite busy i'm hearing a spirit say that these are responsibilities that you cannot just give up on right now you cannot just toss them away right now For some of you, that's interesting. I'm getting there might be a masculine figure, um, maybe among your relatives, someone who needs assistance with walking because I'm seeing something around the legs and like having issues with the legs, having issues with uh, uh, mobility. So you may have to stand up um, and be there for this individual. Some of you are worried about May 2025, like the month of May next year, and what it will how things will resolve, what this month will encompass for you. Some of you are worried for that. Let's see why. Let's see why. what's coming into your life. You see blue and then red. Once again, opposites. There is a lot of opposition in the cards. Blue and green, red and orange. So these are opposites on the color wheel. You're trying to keep the peace within and without uh, while being very active, while being like always going, going, going. You're trying to keep the stress levels down. Okay, you have the Page of Swords or the Princess of Swords. You have the High Priestess, beautiful. So the Page of Swords always talks about learning, communication, but very immature communication or once again, the beginning stages of grasping something, uh, learning something, even building the identity of something. So first of all, those of you who are starting their own businesses and becoming independent, I see that with the Princess of Swords, you're still learning how to do all that. You're still learning how to brand yourself how to build your brand's identity you're still getting in the gist of it i see you're trying to network like networking will be a huge focus until the end of the year You have the student and you have the teacher, but for me, the high priestess has always been a reluctant teacher. For me, the high priestess has always been about 
you will learn when you're ready and if you're ready and like the information will be there but you won't see it before you're ready so the high priestess is not necessarily the teacher that sits you down and gives you to read the books the high priestess teaches you through intuition experience um a challenge uh, some sort of initiation so for a lot of you what's ahead um, will be some sort of challenge some sort of learning curve that must initiate you and you must go through it to be initiated into the next level um, the next stage of your life the next level of masterfulness etc Oh wow, okay. Um, so, for those of you who feel like you made a premature decision or you didn't think about something for, too, for long enough before you made a decision and maybe you felt like you made a mistake, I'm getting that there will be a karmic revelation, there is truth and explanation revealed to you through most likely in meditation through some sort of self-reflection period um, with the high priestess or it could be through spiritual literature but the karmic reason and purpose behind a certain dynamic you participated in and why you participated in that specific manner in the dynamic this will be revealed to you the karma behind it will be revealed to you you will understand why something happened so yeah, I definitely see you um, learning a big karmic lesson here until the end of 2024 and perhaps closing a karmic chapter. Okay, two, two main cards. five major arcanas and that's huge and you have three in a row <laughs> so one right one uh one right after the other so you have the high priestess the will of fortune and the fool the will of fortune uh yep definitely you're closing a karmic chapter it's like if you felt unlucky your luck will turn around uh luck will be back on your side the universe will be supporting you again. For some of you, the arrival of a child is in the cards um, or children might be significant. I don't know if you want to work with children or if you want to have children and you're working actively towards that. But I see that children are significant because your four corners are having children imagery in them. So first of all, the page, all the pages in Tarot to me have always been possibly children as they are the youngest persona type of cards in Tarot. Then you have the Fool, which connects to children in childhood um, and childlike naivety, the child archetype. You have the Emperor ruled by Aries. Very often Aries is the father and the child. Uh, in astrology and then you have the ten of cups which symbolizes a happy family and very often on the card not in this title but on the card you would have uh, two parents and two children depicted 
So I'm getting a lot of children here, all right? The month of May, which you might be worried about, it has to do with this wheel of fortune. It may have to do with uh, a move, a change of your of your job, a change of your home. Um, it's a big change. Or a big trip, long trip, uh, very long distance trip you're worried about. Some of you are planning to travel to, I'm seeing like a cave place. It's going to be a bit of a labyrinth type of experience in the month of May 2025. For those of you who are worried how you're going to get through something, uh, finish something, what I'm getting with the Fool is that you will come out of this labyrinth, uh, you will come out of this maze, and um, after you come out of the situation, you would, you would have created... a new beginning for yourself or like this new page it's like all this chaos and confusion that you will be dealing with in the month of may and how am i supposed to manage that how am i supposed to manage this you will come out of the situation um renewed and you will arrive to this new land this new territory that will be yours to conquer with the emperor For a lot of you, before the end of 2024, I'm seeing an opening, some sort of spiritual opening, something that you felt you were held back, you're opening up for it or through that, um, because if you pay attention to these two cards, it's almost like the Justice card is closed with the uh, rhombus here and just just the geometry of it and even the colors and how the white is on the outside the blue is on the inside and here it's almost like this becomes revealed or opened in the uh, high priestess geometrically and color wise as the white is now in the center um, she's holding these two corners very open. It's like you unfolded this um, justice card here. That's why I told you you have revelations. Um, that's why I think that you will realize a family member was right. Maybe some of you will find out your family uh, had like psychics and spiritualists in, in the lineage. Um, but I'm also seeing an opening for you in general, like you're making a decision to, to do something and that almost spiritually opens you up to maybe channeling, inspirations, downloads, clarity, new gifts are coming online for you before the end of the year, after you make the decision to commit to something and after you see the karma behind something. It's like right the moment you see the karmic cycle, why you acted this way, why you're, uh, you were involved in the situation, something about your psychic abilities gets triggered and opened.
I don't even feel like I want to pull oracle cards here, to be quite honest with you. Um, I feel like the tarot was very, very generous. It gave us a lot. So let's see, what other blessings do I see? I'm hearing now is just a rapid developmental stage for you and after the end of 2024 a lot of things will become uh, useful to you a lot of these skills you're gaining now will become useful but now you have this opening up uh, to your gifts that are trying to come online and for those of you who have families, there is a strengthening of the family, of the home. For those of you who are single or just, you know, you're not, you don't have a family per se, uh, you're not building a family with someone right now, I see you becoming more independent. Um, but yeah, a lot of you are conquering, are entering totally brand new fields in the month of May 2025 and are coming out victorious um, and you're conquering this new territory so that's what I see um, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it up to here I hope this resonated with you guys let me know in the comment section below I just love to sometimes bring these shorter um, readings kind of like a little energy update to cozy up with your coffee and listen to you in the morning or something like that so yeah uh, let me know if this resonated if you enjoyed it um, and make sure to like and subscribe to support my work and my channel make sure to share it with your fellow spiritual friends so yeah that's all i have and i will talk to you very soon all of my information is in the description box below including my page where you can book your personal reading with me whether it's astrology related or tarot or channeling you will see what options i have so yeah until next time bye Hi Pile 2, for all of you who chose the Cosmic Tarot, let's see what blessings and other messages until the end of 2024 the ancestors have to share with you. Okay. So let's get right into it. rushing something piled to you because first of all I had a vision of an earthquake and then I had a vision of the myth about Phaeton or Phaeton I will write it down in the description box underneath your pile so you can look it up but basically this is a myth where I believe uh, he is the son the son of of the sun god uh, i think in greek mythology and he wants his father to prove that he is his father by letting him ride the chariot of the sun right so the sun rises and the sun sets that is the journey of that chariot and then um the sun is incapable obviously but he rides the chariot his father lets him and he crashes with that chariot. So I was having a vision of uh, going up, up, up in, in the night sky and like this luminous uh, trail left after the, the chariot, up, up, up and, and then down. And you're rushing something before you're ready to handle it. You're trying to get into it. Um, Spirit is saying, if you're not prepared, you're going to crash. So don't do this just to prove that you're meant to be here that you're meant to be in the field that you're um 
part of this community or whatever, like, don't rush your abilities. With that earthquake, um, you're quite unstable yet. So don't rush this. Seven of Cups. Um, yeah, you might be desperate to prove something, um, to achieve something, to uh, start appearing a certain way, to gain a certain status. cards went right to the floor is saying you uh, is um, sending you very clear signs that you shouldn't go in a certain direction that you should slow down so please be careful with driving very fast trying to get somewhere really quick nine of cups So what I'm getting is, for those of you who have been desperate to be with someone, desperate to be in a relationship in general, or you've been really pining after someone particular, with the Nine of Cups I'm getting that you will most likely lose this person to find another individual. Um, and because we're asking the ancestors, I think that this new individual is definitely sent by them. I'm getting that for some of you this is gonna be someone into photography or you will meet them through a photo shoot or while they're filming or taking pictures outside. Uh, I'm getting this specific vision for some. But yeah, after literally praying for someone, being like being ready to do anything to be with someone, like thinking this is my dream partner, etc. But they were disregarding you. I see that someone else is sent your way. Look at these ups and downs when it comes to love. Listen, even when the right person is sent your way, um, until the end of 2024, and maybe even a bit after that, you're dealing with someone from the past being hot and cold and distracting you and making you confused. It's so important to be with someone that knows what they want. Um, listen, this person from the past, you and them have this almost like third eye thread connecting you. Um, I see a connection between your third eyes, chakras from for both of you. And like the connection is not between your hearts. 
it's between your psychic abilities. Um, that's most likely because you enhance each other spiritually, um, but not in the way you think. I mean, this enhancement is more like you're just triggering your psychic abilities for each other, but this doesn't mean you make yourself, uh, you make each other better. Yeah, for a lot of you, in order to receive your blessing in the form of a healthy relationship, you must cut cords or you must even get divorced with someone that hasn't been the right person from the beginning. Um, This feels like you had a past life connection with this individual, but they just weren't good for you and that's it. We have the sun. Five of pentacles. Hierophant, wow. And the King of Pentacles. So, first of all, what I'm getting here is until the end of 2024, your focus should be your body and your health um, and restoring that, um, getting back to your workout routine, getting back to your dietary regime, like getting back on track with these things is highly, highly important. Um, I see a lot of your life force had been... What's the word I'm looking for? Siphoned? Is that even the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, siphoned by this other individual. So definitely any cleansing, any, any ritual around just cleansing, purifying, renewing your energy is highly needed, highly recommended. I'm hearing you are on a journey of getting back on track in general, financially, relationship-wise, health-wise. With the Hierophant underneath the Eight of Swords, I really see that some of you are going to go through a divorce um, or potentially for others who are not in such a dire situation, you might go through relationship counseling because with the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords is often we put ourselves in the situation of being trapped, being blinded, being confused. Uh, we are the ones who do this to ourselves. And the Hierophant is not only a religious authority, it can talk about a therapist, it can talk about a teacher, and it can definitely talk about um, a traditional commitment, um, traditional values, or trying to, trying to maintain something valuable here. I'm seeing for a lot of you, um, maybe you've lost faith in like being 
supported by spirit or the universe specifically when it comes to finances with this five of pentacles and then followed by the king of pentacles so really your financial situation depends on your faith and your belief system so they must be revisited for sure I'm seeing some of you here um, might be trying to sell land or you're trying to figure out how to split something after a divorce or you're trying to sell land that belongs to you and a sibling so you're figuring this out. I'm seeing that one of your blessings will be selling something that almost felt like it was negative to own it. Um, owning this thing made you feel heavy somehow and selling it and using the money to buy something else is a, is a form of a, a renewal almost, uh, transforming the energy of it. So it just you transforming the energy of one type of abundance, one type of material abundance into another. I definitely see selling one property to buy another. I definitely see selling an old car to buy a new one. Maybe selling an old family car to buy a new one for yourself. I see selling something that belongs to two or more people and now you can finally afford something for yourself after you sell that. For some of you, if you're looking for a job, I see that maybe two more months, so October, November, or September, October. So around the ending of November, beginning of December, I see you landing on a new job, landing on an opportunity. Literally around Christmas or, you know, if you celebrate Christmas at the end of the year. Um, around the end of the year, I see you landing on a job opportunity. I see you talking to someone. Spirit is saying you have connections that you need to use. If you feel like you're not making enough money where you're working at currently, if you feel like you want to move to, you know, a new position, if you feel like you want to switch your jobs. Spirit is saying you have a network you are not using. You have connections you need to start using. Savings will be very important until the end of the year. So Spirit is saying that what's ahead is a bit of time of living life maybe at a lower standard uh, living life as if you don't have much money but the thing is it's not that you don't have much money it's just that you need to save it and that's why you need to live almost as if you're poor even if you're not because i see a necessity to save money I don't know why, I don't know what it is yet. Um, I'll ask to clarify with the cards, but I feel like you need to save up money because you will later need it. Maybe in, into the new year, you will need it. Maybe you will need to move out, live somewhere else, rent out a new apartment, something like this.
because your ancestors are saying we're trying to direct you somewhere safe uh, especially for those of you who are looking to looking for an apartment to rent and to live in um, Spirit is saying they're slowing down the process because your ancestors are slowing down the process because they want you to move to a safe neighborhood they want you to find a good landlord etc but by the end of the year you guys are doing business um you're talking to someone who is very business savvy you're making investments you're purchasing property you're transforming one form of abundance into another that's that's the biggest message here You have the Knight of Swords, intellectual riches, this angel, Harahel, protects fertility of women, makes children respectful toward their parents. Hmm, interesting. Some of you might have abandoned your altars, your shrines, your uh, corners where you pray, where you connect with your ancestors, with the universe, with God, where you meditate. You gotta, you gotta restore these places uh, in the house in order to restore your connection to spirit. Let's find the business here, please. Four of Cups, the God deflecting evil, healing capacity, protection from weapons, safety and travel. Oh my God, that is it. I was like, clarify this Emperor, the King of Pentacles, because this King of Pentacles is giving me landlord vibes or a businessman vibes. And I told you, I feel like you're supposed to move somewhere safe and that's why things are slowing down. So yeah, with the Four of Cups, you feel bored, like, oh, I'm not finding the right place, I'm not getting the right career opportunity, etc. That's because your ancestors are trying to align you with some place where the neighborhood will be safe. If, it, if we're talking a living situation, if we're talking business, then spirit and your ancestors are trying to align you with um, a rightful, um, a good, you know... Um, boss etc like business individual someone who will pay you good money like and the ancestors are really trying to get you a good business deal and a good opportunity and even if you're trying to sell something and it's not working you're selling property no one wants it no one is on the lookout etc things are getting uh, are happening slower for you because it must be done safely and with the right individual. Actually... Can we clarify the Eight of Swords? The Fool. 
will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. You are escaping about you. I don't know what kind of a trap. Is it a relationship or a, or a job situation? But you are escaping some sort of a trap. Some sort of uh, entanglement financially and emotionally. And for some of you even spiritually. You are escaping that trap. Okay? Some of you are finding a spiritual healer that will help you restore the energy and the health of your body after almost like a spiritual warfare took a toll on your body. And you've been divinely guided to this individual. How you met them or how you will meet them is not random. I'm specifically getting someone will refer you to someone or someone will give you the business card of someone they know. Whether this is a businessman or a healer or a landlord. And, and they'll be like, oh yeah, I know a person that can help you with your situation. So accept help. Open yourself up to help piles you as I see that you most likely need it and will receive it. Clarify the sun. Clarify the sun, spirit, please. Gabriel, the moon. Oh my god, this is so interesting. God is my strength. Divine revelation re reveals messages. He has the power to destroy. Yeah, Gabriel is a messenger. Very often he comes through with a clairvoyant vision and message or with a uh, automatic writing message. So, okay, you have the sun and the moon. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, your psychic vision is opening up. Maybe after being with someone that clouded it. Maybe after be living somewhere that clouded it. But I see that spirit is really willing and trying to communicate with you by two. Make space, make room for spiritual communication in your life. As it is very, very crucial. The sun can talk about illumination, so it's interesting how we have here the moon with divine revelation. Um, I feel like for some of you, you will be guided through your dreams and for others, something in your subconscious is being illuminated. Something that was almost hidden from you is being illuminated. Um, maybe 
it's a situation that you've had these thoughts and opinions about, but you always kept it, kept them to yourself and you weren't even fully sure if you're correct. And I think that it will be revealed to you that indeed your intuition was on point. Yeah, you're definitely the ones in this re in in this big card. You're definitely the pile that needs to make time for spirit. A spirit is really trying to communicate with you to open up your clairvoyance. You need to make time. <clears throat> what I'm getting is that you've been way too wrapped up and caught up with the day-to-day -day problems and solving them and they're you're absolutely having a valid experience dealing with these stressors in life but you need to make time for your prayer for your meditation if you want to get back on track with with your money with your health with your uh, relationships I do see that one of the greatest blessings here will be <clears throat> moving to a safer area or working with someone, being able to sell something after struggling for a long time, a person arriving into your life that is going to be good for you, but you need to listen to your intuition. All right, pile two, I think that this is all I have and I hope it resonates with you. I hope it gives you some clarity. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm always curious to hear about your experiences with the reading. Make sure to like and subscribe to support my work and my channel and share with your fellow spiritual friends. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. All of my information is in the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading. So this is all I have and I will talk to you in my next pick a card. Until then, bye. Hi Pile 3 and welcome for all of you who chose the Burdock Tarot. Let's see what messages the ancestors have for you, what blessings are coming to you, what other messages they want you to know about. getting a lot of birds through the window something about maybe birds coming to your window a lot maybe them like <laughs> not knocking but um, you know using their beaks to just tap on the window or something I'm getting that these are messages from your spirit guides But these are messages specifically from the ancestors, especially for those of you who live in the house or in the apartment where your ancestors used to live, where past on loved ones used to live. That's how they communicate with you without trying to scare you too much, you know. Oh, okay. We've got way too many cards here. What do you need to know? I'm getting a lot of you here are into theater perhaps or um, acting. Okay, Nine of Wands. A lot of you are finishing school, a lot of you are wrapping up something, maybe a huge project is finally coming to an end. With the Nine of Wands, I'm getting you're almost there, you're almost 
done with something and you will see the full fruits of your labor very soon. Some of you may feel like quitting something right before it picks up, right before um, the huge reward comes comes online. So don't quit yet. Don't quit. That is the message here. Don't give up. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm having visions of taking care of animals or taking them to shelters or building shelters for them. Some of you may either do this as a side hobby or something that your heart calls you to do. Some of you are, you know, building like social media around it. Uh, you're turning it into a business. Of course, when you do such a thing, it's never just for the money, but you do need the money in order to maintain this thing. Um, so I do see taking care of animals, etc. I'm getting a lot of you are walking with Artemis right next to you. Um, she is supporting you in this journey. So working with her um, intentionally may be very useful for those of you who wish to help animals, for those of you who wish to be connecting with animals. And yeah, whether it's a business, whether it's just something you volunteer for um, and it's someone else's business, of course. Um, Artemis is supporting you in this endeavor. The Two of Wands. Your throat chakra, you will be speaking up, pile three. You will be speaking up, um, whether it's on behalf of the animals, whether it's on behalf of nature, you will be speaking up. And for some of you, you're very gifted vocally. So if it's not theater and acting, it could be singing, but you could have like a background in theater, but then turn into, uh, turn into music. And Spirit is saying that every step of your journey will make sense to you. And it's starting to make sense right now. And by the end of the year, it will make more sense. Uh, because every step of your journey, every little thing that you picked up, every little thing that you learned, maybe you felt like it took you nowhere, maybe you wanted to give up on it, or maybe even you gave up on it. Like, I see that a lot of things you left behind, um, a lot of your... I see you have many scattered paths around you, like you took on many different paths and then you abandoned them, but... I see a lot of them coming together, merging in one path. You have the chariot. Yeah, your journey will make sense. <laughs> Everything on the journey will make sense. Uh, the different paths will converge and become one. You should know that you're moving through life with purpose right now. Um, and your throat chakra is highly involved in your purpose. So you're using your voice. You know, some people use their hands, some people use their mind a lot. Some people use their heart, their physical body. You're using your voice a lot. Whether you're channeling, whether you're singing, whether you're um, um, reading audiobooks, you're a narrator, whether you're whether you're reading the news, you're using your voice. For some of you, it's gonna be in a written form. But what you're writing about, so. If you're not using your voice actively, if it's passively by writing things down, it's going to be you're writing your own thoughts, opinions, analysis, etc. If you're speaking, you might speak 
on behalf of someone else. Okay, so two possibilities here. If you're silent, but you're still voicing something out in a written form, it's your own mind, it's your own opinion. And if you're speaking out loud, it's going to be speaking on behalf of someone else or speaking someone else's words, for example, a written script, uh, written lyrics for a song. Um, but it's your voice that brings magic and energy behind the words. I'm hearing a lot of you will be receiving invitations uh, for programs, colleges, um, schools, competitions. Like I'm getting invitations, very formal invitations, like you're receiving an envelope or something. King of Cups. Yeah, and a teacher in the creative field may recognize you. They may be the one who sent you the invitation or the email. They offer you a position. They want you. They want to cast you. A lot of you are supposed to perform on stage, you must overcome that stage fright and, and go through the casting. And even for some of you, I see you finding out about the casting that's happening, however, in a city quite far away from you, you need to travel, you must go to that casting. Ace of Wands, absolutely. Seven of Wands. With the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands, you are defending your territory, you're standing up for yourself. The Ace of Wands usually indicates a new creative endeavor. It can indicate a new, new inspiration, new ideas. You have a lot of wands, if you haven't noticed. I think that he will win a competition. For some of you, it may not be like a casting. It could be some other sort of competition, but you're winning a competition pile three. It could be like a competition for a creative writing project. Five of Swords. And you may come in second place, you know, and someone may gaslight you that, well, second place is it really a win or whatever. Someone may gaslight you that um, it's not that big of a deal. You shouldn't rely on this. It's not like you're talented or anything. Like someone may literally try to say these exact words and gaslight you. It's not like you're a talent or a prodigy or anything like that. Oh my God, don't let them. Do not let them do this. And be careful around someone trying to sabotage your traveling plans in order to get to a competition or to a casting or something like this. of wands oh my god you guys are listen you must travel you must travel to get where you need to get to and get what needs to be done done <laughs> like you must travel and what i'm seeing mm, hold on Yeah, someone may try to downplay your abilities, be like, you've done so many things before and you always give up, or like, 
why am I getting with the five of swords five of swords is about mind games manipulation um, and it's not like the seven of swords where you have deception and someone is lying to your face the five of swords is manipulation the five of swords someone here is trying to convince you they're doing better off or that you would be doing better off maybe in a relationship with them if that's a friend maybe working in their company if that's like a a business owner maybe they're like oh you know i want to hire you uh you're not gonna get a better opportunity but that is not true you're gonna get a better opportunity so you must stand your ground and at all costs you must travel because if you travel especially for some of you this is overseas or uh it's a long uh long distance trip if you travel someone is waiting by the end of your traveling journey it's a tutor a mentor a teacher um someone who is in the field that you want to get into and they will recognize you someone the artistic talents run in the bloodline they run in the family and you are highly supported by the ancestors get creative yep the creative talents absolutely ace of wands i love that absolutely you have very creative powers in fact when i was still pulling cards here i was getting there the pile three is a magician a magician but i i just got lost in in the other messages and i forgot to mention this but i did see you guys as a magician so you're the type of person who would if if we're talking acting for example you go on set you're given a script and then you're like, I think I have an idea. And you suggest a change to the script or to the scene or something. And someone is like, yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. And you get recognition. You're the type of person who will almost unwillingly become like the leader, the director of a project. So get creative. You have a lot of creative power. You have a lot of power when it comes to acting, music, journalism, using your voice. you're fully stepping into your power you're fully stepping into your confidence and trust of your knowledge with the sage you know enough okay um some of you because i saw the magician imagery and the five of swords i think that's where i got it some someone may try to convince you that 
well, you can do a lot of things, but you're a master of none. You're a jack of all trades, basically, but master of none. You are a master of your own craft, and your own craft is this mixture of all the things you've learned. So, yeah, really don't question your power, maybe just because you didn't go in-depth enough in one craft or the other. Maybe you um, glazed over lots of dif different things and you have combined powers. This is what I'm getting. You have the power of combinations at your fingertips. Like, you can combine different fields and knowledge and skills and create something unique and that's where your power lays and I think that you will be very successful and you will achieve like great things if you follow this track and by the end of the year I see you standing up your ground making a decision to move potentially winning a competition Some of you are winning a competition that will allow you to travel. But all of your knowledge will come to the rescue. Like even the things you deemed unimportant or you felt like, why did I even learn this? Like, why did I even sign up for this course, for this class? The knowledge will come to you and it will be useful to you. Aya, uh, Five of Wands, God, Listening in Concealment, Politics and Ambition, Wins, Judgment, uh, the, this angel wins judgment and protects all those who seek the truth. Interesting. Wins judgments. Like, competition? <laughs> it would win uh, the, the judges at a competition? Yeah, absolutely. Politics uh, politics and ambition? Yeah, absolutely. You guys are... A lot of you are supposed to get into higher levels of elite creative society, I want to say. Um, maybe not elite as in Hollywood or something like this. But I'm getting just this very refined, um, artistic echelon of people um, you're getting among that community you're becoming a part of this community and you're going to win people over use your charm pile three you're charming but definitely the hugest biggest blessing coming through is winning some sort of competition and that will open up doors for you i promise you Eight of Cups, got the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives consolation in adversity. You may feel like you are... You may feel like you're incapable. You may feel like you are not good enough, etc. You may feel like you must face adversities that no one else must face and that slows you down on, or that is a blockage on your path, but it isn't. I'm getting that a lot of the things you considered your uh, adversities will become your strengths, okay? So, yeah, pile three, this is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it resonated with you. Let me know in the comment section below because I love, love to read your experiences with my readings. Um, so... Yeah, make sure to like and subscribe to support my work and my channel and share with your fellow spiritual friends. Um, all of my information is in the description box below. If you're interested in personal reading, if you want to check out my Instagram page, etc., uh, you can do that as well. 
so thank you again for watching this i really appreciate you and i hope i'll see you in my next reading